It ain't what you don't know that gets you into trouble. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. Mark Twain. This quote by Mark Twain perfectly sums up the topic of making money with debt. Many folks believe that debt is nothing but trouble, but the truth is, if used correctly, debt can be a powerful tool for making money. In this essay, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on how to make money with debt, with a healthy dose of humor thrown in, just as Mark Twain would have wanted. First and foremost, it's important to understand that not all debt is created equal. There's good debt and bad debt, and it's crucial to know the difference. Good debt, such as a mortgage on a rental property or a loan to start a business, can generate income and increase your net worth over time. On the other hand, bad debt, such as credit card debt or personal loans, can quickly spiral out of control and leave you in a worse financial situation than before. One way to make money with debt is by investing in real estate. By taking out a mortgage on a rental property, you can collect rent from tenants and potentially make a profit over time. It's important to do your due diligence and make sure the numbers make sense before jumping in, but owning rental properties can be a great way to generate passive income. Another way to make money with debt is by starting a business. A small business loan can give you the funding you need to get your venture off the ground, and with a successful business, you can generate a significant income for yourself. Just make sure you have a solid business plan and a good understanding of the market you're entering before taking out a loan. One important aspect to keep in mind when using debt to make money is to always pay off your debt as soon as possible. The longer you take to pay off your debt, the more interest you'll end up paying, which can eat into your profits. So, always make sure to have a solid plan in place to pay off your debt as quickly as possible. Here are more examples of good debt. 1. Student loans. Taking out a student loan to finance your education can be a good form of debt, as it can lead to higher earning potential in the long run. 2. Auto loans. Buying a car through a loan can be considered good debt if the car is necessary for work and will be used for a long time. 3. Home improvement loans. Taking out a loan to make improvements on your home can increase the value of the property and be considered good debt. 4. Business equipment loans. Taking out a loan to purchase equipment for your business can help increase productivity and profits, making it a good form of debt. 5. Refinancing a mortgage. Refinancing your mortgage at a lower interest rate can save you money in the long run and be considered good debt. 6. Personal loans for investments. Taking out a personal loan to invest in stocks or mutual funds can potentially generate a higher return on investment, making it good debt. 7. Agricultural loans. For farmers, taking out a loan to purchase land, equipment or livestock can increase their production and be considered good debt. 8. Medical loans. Taking out a loan to pay for medical expenses can help improve your health and be considered good debt. 9. Solar energy loans. Taking out a loan to install solar panels on your home can save you money on energy bills in the long run and be considered good debt. 10. Veterinarian loans. Taking out a loan to pay for veterinary expenses for your pets can help improve their health and be considered good debt. Avoid bad debt. This are some examples of bad debt that you need to avoid. 1. Credit card debt. Carrying a high balance on credit cards and only making the minimum payments can quickly lead to high interest debt and can be considered bad debt. 2. Payday loans. Payday loans are short-term loans with high interest rates and can trap borrowers in a cycle of debt. 3. Personal loans for consumption. Taking out a personal loan to pay for non-essential expenses such as vacations or luxury items can lead to high interest debt and be considered bad debt. 4. Timeshare loans. Timeshare loans are often associated with high interest rates and can be difficult to get out of, making them bad debt. 5. Car title loans. Car title loans are short-term loans that use the borrower's car as collateral and can have high interest rates, making them bad debt. 6. Rent-to-own loans. Rent-to-own loans often have high interest rates and can trap borrowers in a cycle of debt, making them bad debt. 7. Pawn shop loans. Pawn shop loans are short-term loans that use personal items as collateral and can have high interest rates, making them bad debt. 8. Tax refund anticipation loans. Tax refund anticipation loans are short-term loans that are often associated with high interest rates and can be considered bad debt. 9. Gambling debts. Gambling debts are often associated with high interest rates and can quickly spiral out of control, making them bad debt. 10. Cosmetic surgery loans. Taking out a loan to pay for cosmetic surgery can lead to high interest debt and be considered bad debt. In conclusion, debt can be a powerful tool for making money if used correctly. By understanding the difference between good and bad debt, investing in real estate, starting a business or taking out a loan for a profitable venture, and paying off debt as soon as possible, 
you can put debt to work for you and increase your net worth over time. Just remember, as Mark Twain once said, the man who does not read good books has no advantage over the man who cannot read them. So, make sure to do your research before taking on any debt, and always look for ways to make the most of it. This is for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. The information provided is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Please consult a financial professional before making any financial decisions. Please like and subscribe.